Foundation Module 5, Use Modular Integrated Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology. Dr. M. Ashraf Thind, Senior, Demonstrator, Sheikh Zayed. Medical College, Physiology Department, Founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen, Medical Lecture, Super Fast Simplified Physiology, Video Lecture Notes. Guyton and Hall, 14. Edition, Chapter Number 38, Respiration, Pulmonary Ventilation, Lecture Number 8. Learning Objective Enlist the components of surfactant. Describe the role of surfactant in lung compliance. Explain the role of surfactant in premature babies. Concept of surface tension. 1. Components of surfactant. Surfactant is a complex mixture of several phospholipids, proteins, and ions. The most important components and the phospholipid depalmatoyl phosphatidylcholine, surfactant apoproteins, and calcium ions. Describe the role of surfactant in lung compliance. Surfactant is a surface, active agent in water. It reduces the surface tension of water and helps to prevent the collapse the alveoli lungs during expiration, exchange of gases between the lungs and blood. It is secreted by special alveolar epithelial cells called type 2 alveolar epithelial cells, also known as type 2 pneumocytes. It coats inside surface of the alveoli. The proteins and lipids that make up the surfactant have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic portions. Hydrophilic portion, water-loving, head portion, is dissolved, while hydrophobic portion, water-hating, tail portion, spreads over the surface of the water in the alveoli, facing towards the air, the main lipid component of surfactant. Hydrophobic tail portion makes one-twelfth to one-half surface tension of a pure water surface. It makes about 10% of the surface area of alveoli. It provides stability of the alveoli by preventing them from collapsing and sticking together. It prevents fluid accumulation and maintenance of dryness of airways. By decreasing the surface tension, surfactant increases the compliance of lungs, which means the lungs can expand more easily and with less pressure. It decreases the work of breathing by decreased surface tension. Concept of surface tension Surface tension is the property of a liquid forms, a surface with air, that it act as stretched elastic membrane, contractile membrane, Surface tension also causes phenomena such as raindrops, soap bubbles, and wine tears. Reverse these principles on the inner surface of alveoli. The water surface is also try to contract and to force air out of the alveoli through the bronchi and causes the alveoli try to collapse. This is called the surface tension elastic force. Note, keep in mind. The surface tension of different watery fluids is approximately the following. Pure water, 72 dynes per centimeter. Normal fluids lining the alveoli without surfactant, 50 dynes per centimeter. Normal fluids lining the alveoli with normal amount of surfactant between 5 to 30 dynes per centimeter. Explain the role of surfactant in premature babies. Surfactant is secreted by special alveolar epithelial cells into the fluid that coat the inside surface of the alveoli. It the decreased surface tension in the alveoli. It prevents the alveoli collapse.
In several conditions, surfactant deficiency, such as in hyaline membrane disease, respiratory distress syndrome. Respiratory distress syndrome in which the lungs of a newborn baby are not fully developed and the baby difficulty in breathing. The surface tension of alveolar fluid increased, then normal lungs compliance decreases. Because the chest wall of the premature infant is very compliant. The infant attempts to overcome decreased lung compliance with increasing inspiratory pressure, resulting in retractions of the chest wall. It leads to poor air exchange and increased physiologic dead space, alveolar ventilation, and hypercapnia, retention of carbon dioxide in the body. A cycle of hypoxia, hypercapnia, and acidosis acts on type 2 cell to reduce surfactant synthesis. This reduced surfactant causes a serious tendency for the lungs of these babies to collapse or to become filled with fluid. Many of these infants die of suffocation when large portions of the lungs become atelectatic. Surfactant therapy is a common treatment for RDS, and it reduces mortality and respiratory morbidity in preterm infants.